Hey Deckers, FSR 3 is here for Immortals and for Spoken. As you can see here, we have the FSR 3 enabled for performance mode. And before we show you what's going on there, let's just address Forspoken. Extreme flash warning for those that may be affected. Forspoken is completely broken on the Steam Deck since this FSR 3 update. Doesn't even matter if you can try and turn it on. Just running the game with any settings now, it's just an absolute flickering mess. So not possible to run Forspoken 3 at all at the moment on Steam Deck, even though it was playable previously. However, Immortals of Avium is still playable and yes you can enable FSR 3 and we'll do a comparison here very shortly between FSR 2. Both of these are running on the low settings four times anisotropic and light shafts on with mesh quality at high. Unfortunately we cannot turn on frame gen. If you turn on frame gen it completely crashes the Steam Deck and you can no longer launch the game. Thanks to cloud settings for a change on Immortals of Avium, you can load it up on another device and turn frame gen off for you to be able to launch it on the Steam Deck again, or you will need to reset all of your settings with no major confidence that it will actually turn that off. So if you do turn frame gen on, that's pretty much game over on the Steam Deck right now, but hopefully that will get fixed soon. I did also try this with SteamOS 3.6 just to see if it made any difference. It didn't for Forspoken and it didn't really make any difference for Immortals of Avium either. However, it did fix my frame cap issue on external monitors, which is actually very useful. So as you can see here with the FSR 3, we are still actually bouncing under the 30 frames per second mode. But if we do cap it at 30 like we did with FSR 2, it is still pretty stable. Now, quality wise between the two, it's pretty negligible, I feel, and it's not massively different in the performance without that frame gen. So unfortunately, without frame gen on Steam Deck, there isn't a huge benefit from FSR 3 right now. But if we do cap it, there is a very small quality improvement, but we still wave around and we still get the big dips in Immortals of Avium here and there that we did get before. So although it's slightly better quality with FSR 3 on the same performance or quality mode than it was on FSR 2, without frame gem, you really aren't gaining a huge amount of difference. And before people jump at me to say that frame gen is only effective for 60 frames per second plus, that's not true. It's most effective over 60 frames per second, but it definitely makes a difference on 30 plus. If you don't believe me, just have a look at what happens on the ROG Ally when you turn on frame gen. And if you want to see more about that, then check out the Games in Hand channel, where there may be a video later. Overall though, FSR 3 is definitely great to see and working 50-50 on the Steam Deck as it's only working on one of the two games that has it right now. So it's going to be very interesting to see how well this actually progresses and when these 300 games get FSR 3, whether they're still going to work on the Steam Deck. Let us know your thoughts below on whether you see much difference on the FSR 3 on its own or you think that really we have to have that frame gen. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.